morning everyone this is Trisha and welcome to my channel today I'm going to be making a fresh flower centerpiece so this is an arrangement that can go on any table let me show you what the supplies are going to be so we can get to making this beautiful centerpiece all right so the first thing that I chose for my arrangement was actually the container I found this cute little metal container at Hobby Lobby and I thought this would be really nice for a small centerpiece on my dining room table even on my island and my kitchen. You can put it, of course, anywhere you want. Uh, I would suggest you use either a something metal, something plastic or glass or ceramic for a fresh floral arrangement because there is some water involved and you don't want something that will uh, be porous and water will go through it. So make sure you get a container that you can have moist, wet items inside of it. So that's the first thing that I chose is my container. You may choose your flowers first and then decide how you want them to look and then choose a container that it can go to. But uh, in this case, I chose a container first and then I decided I needed some small flowers that could be, you know, could look nice in a short round arrangement. So that's what I'm going to do. And I picked these flowers. I just got them from my grocery store. You can pick them from anywhere. Maybe you have some flowers outside that you can pick from and you can choose that. So I made sure I chose a nice bouquet that had plenty of flowers so that I can make something round. I don't need it to be too big, but this is a pretty nice uh, choice of stems. And then I've got these little fern greenery also that I'm going to be using my arrangement just to give it a little bit of a fill. And then I have some leftover baby's breath, which is now uh, become dry, which is fine. And I can use some of this if I feel like I need a little bit of a filler. All right, so those are my flowers and my greenery that I'm going to use in the arrangement. I'm going to be using this wet foam. It's also called an oasis. This is what it looks like. It is just a brick. This is the type that you need for fresh flowers and it tells you right there for fresh flowers you want to make sure that it says that don't get one that's just a regular styrofoam you need one that absorbs water okay I'm also going to be using some waterproof tape this can be found wherever they sell uh, supplies for fresh flowers so this is what that tape looks like it is a waterproof tape and I'm going to need a container, something deeper than this, of course. I just pulled this out. It was easy for me. Uh, something deeper that you can put this in and then pour plenty of water in there so it'll absorb all of that. We may need some stems for our, our or some wire for our stem. So this is a stem wire. Here we go. And it is about, let's see, does it say how long these pieces are? It doesn't say, but they're about 24 inches. Now this is a 22 gauge. So let me show you close up. This is a little leftover piece that I had from another arrangement. Uh, you can get these in a 20 or a 22 gauge. That is perfect for uh, wrapping on floor, uh, fresh flowers, okay? So we may need this, we may not, but I'll still go ahead and show you how I use this. I did do that in the last video where I did a fresh floral arrangement, but I'll still show you once again. When you're going to use some sort of a pruning shears or scissors and you can cut the stems of your flowers. I happen to have some scissors here as well. Wire cutters in case we need to cut our wire. And then I'm going to use just a little regular knife here. I got it at the dollar store. And I'm going to use that to cut the oasis to fit into my container. Okay, those are all my supplies. As you can see, I'm not using any type of a glue gun or anything like that. So the first thing I want to do is unwrap my oasis and place it into a container where I can pour some water, which is another thing you're going to need. You're going to need lots of water, okay? Sometimes a couple of gallons of water. So we want this to soak about 30 minutes before we can start making our arrangement. I'm going to go ahead and just start making mine, but you want to make sure you let it soak up plenty of water in there. And the brick is going to get kind of heavy. Now, I don't need to use this, this whole bit because my container is kind of small, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this to size before I get it in the water. So just measure about how big that needs to be. Cut off your piece. Now this type of uh, styrofoam uh, is very soft. It's very easy to manipulate and push into, see? Just like that, it's very easy to do that. So sometimes when you have little rounded edges, all you got to do is just kind of push on your little edges here 
and that rounds them off to fit into your container. I want this to fit kind of tight in there. Let's push that right in, just like that. So now that I know that that fits, that is perfect. I'm gonna pull it right back out. Excuse me while I use a little bit of force. There we go. Okay, so now what we want to do is just, probably in a shoebox size or in your sink, uh, your bathroom sink if you want to use that, uh, somewhere small where you can uh, contain some water in, and then just pour plenty of water, and you're just going to let your oasis soak it up. So I'm going to soak it up, and I'll be back once I feel it's enough. Like I said, 30 minutes is what you're going to soak it for. I might just come back sooner than that. Okay, so I'm just going to pretend that 30 minutes went by and that this brick soaked up all this water. But now it is heavy, so I feel like it's got enough water in there. So I'm going to grab, go ahead and grab my waterproof tape here and get it started. We're going to need this to adhere it to the container so that it is safe in there and it doesn't come out. Although it is a nice, nice tight fit. So I don't expect it to pop out easily, but, you know, just to be sure. Okay, so I can get rid of this, this water here. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and use this tape. And we're going to tape it on one side. And don't worry about it showing on the edges here because we're going to put some greenery here. And that's going to cover that up. All right, so now I'm going to cut on this end over here. I'm just going to put enough tape to make sure that our oasis is secure in our container. And don't put it too close because then you don't have space to put a flower in that little spot there. So separate it a little bit. And turn it around. Okay, just one more piece and this is done. And this is nice and secure. Like that. Turn it over. It didn't fall out, obviously. I've got some water here on the counter, which I will just dry up. All right, so now our container is prepped. It is a round uh, container, as you can see. So uh, this is going to be perfect. I don't have to worry about, oh, well, which side is the front, which is the sides, etc. This is, an, you know, you can see it all the way around. And it is going to be a centerpiece. So I'm going to do everything even as I come out. And then I'm going to go upward into like a dome shape up here. So I need to decide what my height and my how far out I want my flowers. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some a greenery to my arrangement. So I'm going to take these uh, pieces of fern, and I don't want them to be too, too big coming out, so I'm actually going to cut these, and then I'm going to cut the bottom stems. Okay, so then I just want a small piece like this. So I'm going to go ahead and prep a few of them before I continue. And then I'm going to take this other piece and I'm going to go ahead and cut that as well. Leave about an inch and a half to two inches of stem to that and put that aside as well. And these other pieces I can throw them away. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and continue that and I shall be back. Alright, so I've come here to the end of my greenery here which I have trimmed and cut. So I have all of these here, which are about the same size, and these are perfect for the size that I'm going to work with in my container. And then I've got all these other little extra pieces here. If I need fillers, these will be great for that. Okay, so I'm going to move those to the side, and we're going to take these pieces here and take our little container and then start inserting these into the wet oasis. Push all that little stem as far as you can. Let me go ahead and trim a little bit off of this one here. I'm going to put this one on the other side. There we go, just like that. 
one here. Now all this is going to cover those little tapes on the side. I'm going opposite of each other and now I'm going to fill in between. Like so. And one last one. So I had eight pieces. And we want to do that, okay? And that helps our arrangement come out a little bit further. If you don't want it to come out this far, then of course cut them a little bit shorter and they'll be further in. Uh, now if you have a bigger container, of course this will be nice in there as well. And, of and these pieces, like I said, we're going to save these in case we need them for filler once we have our flowers in. Okay, so now what we want to decide is how high up do we want our arrangement to go. And I'm going to pick this particular, you can pick whatever you want, but I'm going to pick this particular um, stem because I've only got three buds. These are, I guess, a lily, some sort of a lily, a ti like a tiger lily or star lily. Star lily. It was always going to open up on here, but I've only got one of these and I want to put it right in the middle and I want this to be the decision of what will be my height. I'm going to go ahead and cut off some of it for now because I know I don't want it that high, but that gives me a little, a little chance to remove some of these leaves here on the bottom as well. There we go. Remove some of those off so we have a nice uh, clean stem here. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull, pull Sorry, we're going to put this against our container to decide how how high up or how far down we want it to go. And I want about, there we go, I want about that height, which is about, it's about seven or eight inches. So as you can see, this goes beyond my container, so I want to trim it somewhere, if you can see this finger right here, I want to trim it right about there, which is not all the way down to the bottom of the container, but somewhere in the middle. So this is my point where I'm going to cut it, where I've got had this finger, and that's where I'm going to cut it. It's got one leaf too many. Remove that. So this is going to go right in the middle and push down. Now if you forget how, where you measured it, put your finger at least one and a half to two inches on that stem. Put your finger right on there so when you push this into this into the foam, as soon as you, these fingers touch the foam, you know that you've gone far in enough. So, and that wasn't enough what I had done already, so I'm going to push in just a little bit more. And there we go. That takes care of that. That is the height. So now we want to use that for all the other flowers that we're going to put. Now they're going to be getting well, as, we, as we put them in, they're going to be getting angled rather than going straight up. They're going to start being angled as we go. Some are going to go outward a little bit against these uh, leaves here, and some are going to be a little bit shorter. So we're just going to keep that in mind that this is this is pretty much the, the tallest point, and then everything else is going to get shorter as we go in, or rather angled as we go in. So let's start grabbing some flowers to fill that in. So the next... Uh, stems that I have are these right here. I've got one, two, three, four, which I think is kind of perfect. So we also want to cut these. Now, these are on this, let me remove these leaves because they're probably not even going to be useful anyway. So I'm going to remove those. Let's move that out of the way. Of course, if we had stems of roses, all we had to do was just cut all our stems of roses all the same length and just start putting them into our arrangement because they're pretty much all the same length. Okay, so, but I have this stem here that ha then branches out into little separate stems. If I was to cut this and put this into my arrangement, this is going to be really tall. So, obviously, I don't need this length over here. So, I'm going to individually cut these little stems off of the one big branch and use that height because that's approximately the same as the one that we've already put in there. Okay, so I've got three, four, five, six here. Let's see, let's cut these off as well. I don't need these leaves way down here. And you could just cut them all at the same time, but I just want you to be able to see what I'm doing. There we go. And these are a little bit different. They're not quite 
like that other one that had these very long stems like that this has a little shorter one so I'm obviously going to cut somewhere down here so I'm going to use this same flower that I've cut to tell me what length to cut this one at so there we go right there and then I can get rid of the the extra leaves that are on there that I don't need and some of them are kind of drooping down so I'm going to remove that also so I don't have any droopy leaves I'm going to do the same with this one cut the leaves off and then trim. Oops. Try to get a nice clean cut on your step. Okay. So now that I know that I've got all of these that are the same, and then I've only got these two that are the same, I'm just going to put these on opposite sides of what I've already got here. And I'm just holding them on the side and looking at the height. Now, if I look at the height, these are right on the table. And they're about the same height as this one. So they're a little bit long. So I'm going to cut. I'm going to move it against the container. Again, and see my middle finger here? That's going to point at the spot that now I want to cut it. So I'm going to keep my middle finger on that little spot there, which is right here. Now I'm going to get my fingers on there to mark that. And I can trim that off. And now instead of going straight into it, I'm going to go at a little bit of an angle and find a little spot where you can push it in where there's no tape and just push that in and hold it at the bottom as you push it in. Don't hold it at the top and then push it in because you might cause too much force. The Oasis is full of water and it's very dense. So what you could do is if you're pushing it this way, you may end up cracking it right in the middle as you're trying to push it in and cause too much force and snap it. So grab it at the bottom and push it in. And if you have to push it some more, lift a little bit more, push down and just do it that way rather than trying to stick the whole thing like that in. So this one's obviously gonna have to be cut as well because it was a little too long. And I'm going to go on the other side and push it in. I feel like this one has to go further in. Yeah, there we go. But they're about the same height. There, you see that? They're just going in at an angle now. So now I'm going to get the longest ones I have of these. Let's see, this one's pretty long, so is that one. Okay, let's go ahead and grab these two here. Again, I'm going to hold them against my container, and I'm going to do the same thing that I did with this, where you can see it from the side, and then uh, use your middle finger, whichever finger you're comfortable with using your middle, your pointed finger here, your index finger, and mark your spot where you're going to cut it. I'm going to cut that much off. So I'm going to do the same to the other one. And at this point, if you have more than two, you can go ahead and take them all and cut them about the same. I'll probably cut those too, but let me put those aside so I can continue with this. Now I'm going to go right next to the same stem there that I put in the middle. Again, angled, I'm, whatever I put on this side, now I'm going to put on this other side. So whatever I put here, which is this one right here, I'm going to go opposite and put it on the other side. And you're going to be going at a little bit of an angle there. Now, right here, a bit of an angle. And then the other side, opposite. And I'm still in that same little square right in the middle. So now I've got other little squares. See the little squares that I created with the tape? I've got lots of little squares where I can put flowers. I've used up this one in the middle where I put all of these flowers in. So I really have no more room. I just have a tiny little bit of room, which I want to leave for these flowers. So now I start filling in over on this side. So now what I want to do, because I have more of these, is I want to go ahead, I'm going to turn these two because they look long. And then I have those other ones that looked a little bit shorter, so I don't have to trim those. I'm going to take these, and I've got, let's get four of them for now. I'm going to take four of them, and I'm going to go to the very outer, very outer square that I have here of tape, right next to this leaf, and I'm going to angle it almost like I have the leaf. I'm going to push that in just enough. See there? 
So this is all the same. This is all the same. This is the one I just put in there. It's the same length as these. It's just at an angle. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side over here, and then one here in the front, and then another one in the back. That's good. These that I just cut. Do it like this so you can see that I am putting it at an angle. And just again push it from the bottom so it doesn't pop and crack or break. So there we go. You can see that this is coming out at an angle. I'm going to do the same thing now to this side and to this side. Okay, that is good. I've only got two of these left, so I'm going to put them off to the side. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and start adding these, and these are in a big thick stem but they have nice long stems on them so I'm going to cut them off individually the ones with the longer stems I think this one should be cut as well this one is breaking off so I'm just going to trim that off I'm going to leave these all on this one here for now so now I'm going to take these and whatever I can cut from this one as well This one's long enough. Let's put those to the side for now. This one was probably long enough as well. Let's cut that one off. And all of these. Okay. Okay, I'm looking at my arrangement and I feel like I have too much of this here right in the middle. So I'm going to take two on opposite sides and I'm going to push them out a little bit more. I'm going to pull them out from the middle and I'm going to pull them out and spread them out a little bit further out. Put those in there like that. Turn it just a bit so then I can do the same thing to the other two. Let's see. This one and this one. Bring them out just a little bit so they're not so crowded there in the middle. Okay. So I spread them out so they're not so crowded. So now in between them, I'm going to put these daisies. And I'm going to grab the longest one. I'm going to do the same thing where I compare it and then I mark it where I want to cut it. And then I can just use that to cut my others. Okay, so I'm going to take two of these longer ones and remove any leaves at the bottom, which will keep it from uh, going into any little holes. I already had some little holes formed there from the other little stems that I pu pushed in there. But I'm just going to go just a little bit off to the side to make sure that this goes in nice and tight. The same with this one. And now I want to do the same opposite like that. And you're just pushing them in enough where they're the same height. that and you can see in the side here all right I'm going to keep adding flowers and I'm going to be going downward a little and angling them as I I'm going to be going outward from the middle outward but then downward as, as I'm angling them so I like this one right here and opposite from this one over here always always keep in mind what you last did this is the last one that I did and it matches the one over here so these are done so now I'm gonna pick another which is over here now so do one here and keep it keep in mind this is the last one that you did you're gonna do one opposite of that one and then that's the last of those two so then you can do your next pairing okay I'm gonna do this one right in here this one right in here look how pretty that's looking getting full with these other little flowers and look how pretty that is open it's nice and open but you can see the oasis in there so we want to keep filling it in so we cover those little spots 
So right here is a really big open spot. I'm going to push one right in there. And then opposite from that, on this side, push one right in there. Now I feel like I need something right here, so I need to put one there. And let me look at the other flower, see the legs. No, they're too short. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use this one. These little flowers are getting smaller, but that's okay. So I put one here, so now I want to go opposite on the other side over here. So I'll take this next one here and push that one in. Now anywhere where you might have a flower that's, oh, this, the flower looks a little too small. Then this is where you grab these other more closed ones and then you just uh, trim them and then place them right next to the, that other one that you felt was a little too small. I'm going to angle it just a little bit more so it's a little bit lower. I'm going to do the same thing uh, next to that other flower that I thought was a little too small. Push that in. A little more angle so it's a little lower. So I've created this little kind of a little pairing there and a little pairing over here but this one's a smaller closed flower. But as you can see now it adds some color right here some of that purple here and add some of that purple on this side so it doesn't feel like just the purples are all like right here but you bring some out this way okay so now I've got these smaller smaller stems and I'm gonna hold on to them just a little bit okay all right so the battery died on me and I'm not sure where it died on me but I ended up cutting all these now from that bigger piece of stem to these shorter but they're still nice and long bits here and I'm just cutting the removing the leaves that are on the bottom because I won't need that okay so I've got those out of the way now remember I have these two little pieces left over I'm gonna go ahead and insert them because I feel like way down here and opposite I could use a little bit more so I'm gonna put that right in there and that fills that up okay so now that I've got these I can start doing the same thing and start filling in. These are these are two stems that have little buds on them. See that? This one's got one. It, do, it doesn't matter if one has two and the other only has one. That's fine because this one is actually a little bit smaller than this one. So it actually having two little buds next to it kind of makes up for you know this bigger one with one bud. So that's just fine. Again, I'm going to put them against my container, and they need to be cut down quite a bit. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put two opposites. Making sure that they're going into something. There we go. And then just push them in at the same opposite angles. Okay. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go to my next one. Again, trim. And I've done these, so now I want to go like that. So I'm going to turn this over. And I'm going at the little squares that are closer to the edge now. Pushing in. Angling it. And nice. And then just keep adding. So you can go opposite, opposite, maybe one down the center. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and use this one going down right down the center. And it might not be right in that little center square. It is actually... Perfect, right in there. Leave that right in there, and then I'm going to put one on the opposite, right in the middle. Just to balance that out. Okay, so now I have room here and over here where I don't have these flowers, these green flowers, so I'm going to go ahead and fill that in now. So just find your little pairs. Okay, so I've got these two, and I need here, I need this color, the same on this other side. I love these colors, they're so pretty together. This kind of a fuchsia, and this almost neon green. Okay, I did a flower here, now i got to go over here and do something over there. And I pair these two together, which is like 
kind of an open bud and that one together. If you want to put them in separately, go ahead and do that. Now sometimes you'll find that when you're pushing it in, you're meeting another stem that's already pushed in there. So then you have to make sure you make this a little bit shorter, move a little bit, and then push it in. And I'm going to do them separately this time because I couldn't push both of them at the same time. So this is what it's looking like. It's really pretty like that, as you can see. I'm going to move the camera just a tiny bit back so that you can see this a little bit better. So I'm going to get another angle. All right, so here we have the arrangement and what it's looking like. This is what it looks like from the sides. Let me turn this around so that you can see. It's looking really pretty. And I've used up all the flowers. I had a couple of leftover here, which I can go ahead and just look in there and see like, well, where does it need a little flower? I feel like I need one right in here. Wait, actually over here because this one's a little more bare. So I'm going to put the bigger flower on this side and I'll take the smaller one and put it over here. And then I'll just take this little tiny little bud and put it right next to that one. Okay. So now we have an even disbursement of flowers all the way around. And it's nice and round. It's a nice little dome here, nice and round. And then of course I had all this leftover greenery as well. And I have my baby spread that I have left over from the last time. I feel like I don't need the baby spread. I'm going to grab a little piece and put it in there just so you could see what it would look like. And I never did do the thing where I was going to do with the, the stem, the wire. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. But look how that little baby spread would look in there. It's a nice little filler. What would be great about this is that it would cover a lot of the uh, little open spots here and there. But I still can see the oasis in there. Okay, so let me do a really quick little thing where I use this stem wire. I used this in my last arrangement because I did have some stems that were pretty long and they weren't very stable. They looked like they were going to fall over. So I needed to wire them down to make them a little more stable. Now in this arrangement, because they were shorter and these stems were nice and firm, I didn't need that. But let me go ahead and show you how I would use that. So I would take a piece of wire and my flower. I take the end of the wire and I, you puncture it into the bottom of the flower. Whether it's a rose, daisy, whichever flower it is, you just puncture it in. And then you just start rolling the wire and grab onto where there's wire holding the stem. Do not hold it too hard. Just hold where there's wire and you know it's not gonna break the stem. And then bend the wire. Do not bend the stem around, but bend the wire and just gently do that. I'm gonna cut off the excess because this piece of wire was a little too long. And now this stem has a wire around it and that will keep it stable. Not only that, not only do I need it when I have a stem that's not stable, but let's say I'm using it in an arrangement and I want to bend the flower. Obviously you can't because it's going to break it if you try to do that. But if the stem has some flexibility, then you can use the wire to manipulate it. See, so now I've actually got it at a different angle. So if I was just going to put this straight into my arrangement, this would actually be angled out and you could see it. And that would work great when you've got so many stems in there that you can't put it in at an angle because there's all these other stems and it keeps hitting against something. So, but if you put it straight in and you've got wire on it, you can manipulate it to be angled. So then you'll push it in and your flower is actually angled out of your arrangement. I hope you understood that and I hope that helped you. Uh, let's get these little greenery bits. I'm actually going to separate some of these because they are a little too big. And I'm actually going to cut them kind of short into little bits like that. And I'm going to push this in way into my arrangement because I want to hide any oasis that is showing through. So I'm just going to go around it. I'm going to twirl it around. This is not one of those situations where like whatever you put here, you put there. You, you just go around it. If you have plenty of this to work with, just go around it wherever you see holes and you can see the the foam at the bottom, push these in. I 
can see a lot of it right here. Okay, so now that you've got all these other little extra little dangling pieces, use those as well. I guess they weren't really dangly pieces, but they were just like little leftover bits. Push them in there. I'm actually going to cut these right off at the leaf there. Put another one right in here because I can see Oasis right there. Right in there. Just carefully reach in so you don't break your other stems that are already in there. And sometimes you might have to put them like this rather than like this. Instead of like that, like this, because you want it to go in and, and cover a nice little area across like that. Not just like that, but, you know, going up and down. And then the leaf that you push that way, of course, it's hiding now the oasis that was way in there. I can take some more of these single leaves here. Push in some more. Make sure they're facing in the right way so that you can see the pretty greenness of them rather than the bottom of the leaf. I'm going to use some of here so I can push this leaf up on this other flower so it doesn't droop so much. It gives it a little, this little leaf here were kind of dangling too much. If I put this front under it, it kind of lifts them up, gives them a little shelf to hold on to. So anywhere you see that, you can push in a leaf. That'll help uh, hold up the other leaf. A little fern, that'll help you hold up. And look, I still got some pieces left over. But look how nice and full it already looks. And if you look inside, I'm gonna try to hold this as close to the camera. You don't see the oasis. Now, right here where I pushed some, right in here, I pushed some leaves in there. Earlier I could see right in there and I could see the oasis, but now because I put that leaf in there, I don't. The same over here, there was a big gap in there and I could see the oasis. Now I can't because I put some greenery in there. And I've got some left over and I could use these or I'll just save them for another little, a, a little arrangement. I have some little flowers left over. I can put in a thin little vase. So I'll just save those. I'm not going to put too much. I don't think I need it all for my little arrangement. And that is it, everyone. I've completed a fresh flower centerpiece. So I'm gonna give myself a big old thumbs up. I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up. And I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on how to handle your fresh flowers and create something pretty for a small table, maybe a little dining room set or breakfast table, or maybe to take to someone. What do you think? Let me know in a nice comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and please share on your social medias. It's also very important that you hit that notification bell so that you get notified of when I put up some videos. I'm gonna sit down for a little bit. But it's important for you to hit that notification bell so that uh, you get notified. My videos are every Tuesday and every Thursday, or rather every Friday. And sometimes I do a little weekend vlog. So this is my second project on Fresh Floral Arrangements. As always, enjoy.